Hey all, Thompson back again with some more heroes and generals. Oh, let's wait for this guy. And there are quite a lot of things that I want to talk about today, but let's start off with this game. Uh, right now I'm just driving a jeep and the game just started, so... But, let's go ahead and start our little talk. Um, let's see, first off, as I mentioned in a little bit of earlier videos, uh, my birthday is March 22nd. Uh, so coming right up, actually this Friday, so two days away. Well, one day when you guys see this. Um, already done, uh, $120 from, uh, both my mom's dad and my dad's dad. So that is pretty nice. So, uh, I was thinking that maybe I would be able to get that video code after all, the GTX 60, no, 650 Ti. Uh, I was thinking about not getting it because of how expensive it is in terms of my budget. But, you know, it's only like $20 more than what I just got, so that's pretty nice. So, Hopefully I can get that. Uh, let's see. Either tomorrow, or, uh, well today, when you guys see this. Um, either tomorrow or Friday, I will be leaving for the mountains uh, for my birthday. Uh, going up to a mountain resort called Crested Butte. I don't know if you guys have heard about that uh, town. It's a little skiing town in the Colorado Mountains. Uh, my uncle owns a condo up there. So we like to take vacations up there. Whoa, buddy. So we'll be going up there probably for a couple days. Uh, just for my birthday. And so that's over. And now let's talk about this game. As you can see, in my hand, I have a little bit of a different gun. This one is called the Thompson Submachine Gun. Oh. And it's really effective when you can shoot people with it. <laughs> but, just got it about two days ago. Uh, played around with it a bit, not a whole ton. Uh, been playing about half and half with my tanker, but I am quite enjoying it as very nice in the close range situations. Uh, once you get over like about 50 meters, oh, just flip the jeep. Once you get over 50 meters, then it's not very effective because of the, was that a 45 caliber shell I believe that it fires? And it doesn't exactly have the best accuracy range and etc. So, but it's very nice in the close range situations and I am really loving it. Quite honestly. Grand is alright, but this one is fantastic. Let's go ahead and peek around here. Go right over here and just hide. Whoever was in that jeep just got killed. There goes a guy. Oh! Mm. Interesting, he came from behind me. Let's go ahead and spawn just as... Oh! Guess I can't. Okay! Well now we wait for a couple of seconds. Hopefully he will let me in this time. There we go. Jeeps are incredibly fun in this game. I really love them. The Kubo Wagon is alright. Uh, that one has a better gun in... Flip there again. I guess I have to go slower over those bumps. Kubo Wagon has a better gun on it with the mounted MG42. But the Jeep I found is far more maneuverable. This guy right there. Let's see if no oh, I'm getting shot. Not by him though. How about you? Yep. 
and the rate of fire on this guy is quite nice and I killed him he killed me as well actually doing decently well well decently being relative to him let's go ahead and grab the bike couple guys on the game forums for this game have started calling it the bike let's see manual power flanking device I believe so MPFD or something like that so it's pretty humorous seeing on the game forums uh, where people had no idea what they're talking about when they say it you know it's up for the except for a certain amount of people let's just say that oh. at least I don't know what you would call it a flesh wound I guess where your health comes back always nice peach around the corner Anyone up here? Anyone? I know I probably should be capping. Killed ya! Uh, I really do love this gun. Okay, anyone over here? Nope. Okay, we need to go and get some more health. Ah, oh, man. Oh, so much for that. We'll be gaining quite a lot of health. <laughs> because we're dead. So we can spawn in again. Okay. You know what? Let's go and steal this half check. Have some fun with that. If we can get there before it despawns. And... Dear. Just yeah, he almost killed me there. Great. Oh well. Let's see. Okay, good. That's one of our guys. It was Mr. Jeep. Two Jeeps. Go and get a bike. Now he's a sniper. So we go. Got one. The Thompson uh, comes in at level six. Costs, I believe, seventy-six thousand credits. There's a guy. So it is. What would that be? Uh. Well, machine guns cost 98,000, so 22,000 cheaper than a machine gun. And you don't get the long range capabilities of a machine gun, but you're very excellent at close range. So that's something I must say I really enjoy. Yep, there was a guy back there. Nope. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do anything right there because the guy was blocking me in. And I'm not going to be running over guys anytime soon. Ah, uh, Troy's having a submachine gun. Not saying that rifles are bad. Not by any means. They're they're excellent in their own respect. But. I love having this gun and the damage that it dishes out uh, in comparison to its rate of fire and uh, the damage that it dishes out in respect to its um, rate of fire and dam uh, Damage that dishes out compared to its rate of fire. Well, rate of fire 
uh, is quite excellent. Uh, and it doesn't have all that much of a recoil to it, which again is quite nice. Oh, is it locked again? Oh, great. Okay, let's just bond down here and take a bike. I get tired of waiting after 30 seconds, and as you got about there, so. Let's go for it. That looks like there's two people on C4, so you'll have to be careful there. Because two current on the 8Ks, even though they are weak in close quarters that there's two of them, then they're still very powerful. Alright, he killed him. Do this you on over this way. Watch. I constantly watched for S lines until I saw that one and it was too late. It's really funny that always happens to me where I always see the S mines. Well, let's say usually I always see the S mines. But usually it's by then it's too late. Sometimes I can do it and shoot it. Yes, I did mean to do that. It didn't mean to tra trash the bike. Just that your old way is just way too open for my tastes. 18 minutes left. How many lives? 440 lives left. How many do they have? 262. Well, it probably won't be coming down to who has the most lives, so. Ah, uh, he had a scope rifle. That'd be why. Uh, not too great. Not too bad, though. Okay, he sounded like he came from over this way. So, did he? Nope. At least I didn't see him. Okay. I'm just going to grab another bike. And this time we're just going to go straight across because the sniper will catch us if he tries to swim. But, he'll only catch us on a bike if he's very good. And most snipers are not very good. Is that guy? Yep. Kill him? No. Okay. Killed him. Ah, oh, man. He was behind me. Ah, uh, he's bonked from that half track over there, I guess. Now for the wait. Guess not. One thing. That I just found out today. A lot of people have been complaining about the chat down in the lower left hand corner. Before it was in the upper left hand corner and it always stayed lit, now it's not. A lot of people have been complaining about it. The thing that I did to change it was going to input settings and then you had a number of chat lines and chat fade speed. Usually set to 10 I believe for the chat fade sp speed. Uh, I just set that to 30. I'm just going to set that to 10 right now. But that's one of the things in Hansen that was changed around that people really didn't like. Yeah, let's get in this Jeep. Was the lack or uh, how the chat faded, I mean. Oh, and they're tapping C3. But that's why I did it change it around. So hopefully you guys will get any out here. Hopefully you guys will if you do play this game, hopefully hopefully you will find that little tip helpful. Now quick quick run. Quick run. Good. Alright. Good. We tap them before they tap C3. Good. Just 
wait, how am I doing? Not great. Okay. Okay, captured. Let's go ahead and move up. He's got the window. So it should be good there. Duck. There's a guy. him oh. duck again anyone what someone my health isn't doing so great do we get up here one well, of the troubles with this game being in beta is that Sometimes, you can't get up the stairs, which is kind of stupid, you could see right there, because it was a stair, you meant to go up it. There he is, nope, that was a gosh. Move over this way. Alright, there's someone. Nope. And I'm not there anymore. <laughs> so much for that. Now I just wait for it to let us in. One, zero. There you go. Alright, hide. Nope, let's move up. Move over to the other section. So that we are protected from uh, unfriendly eyes on the street. Duck. Alright, let's move over here. Where's the guy? Alright, he's fine. Rockets. He's not. He's fine. Bullets. <laughs> How's he doing? Well, ACBQ. He's doing excellent. I'm not. Let's see. Anyone over this way? There's a half track. Let's go ahead and hide in here. Let him come around. Nope, maybe not. Is he going to come around this time? What's that map doing? Not wonderful. Alright. Oh. Okay. Oh man. Almost. Almost. Close but no cigars. They're just asking, are we de the defenders? Nope. We are attacking. At least attempting to attack. Not doing so hot right now. Alright, let us in. Please. Very good. Good boy. Alright, he sounds really close. Let's go ahead and hide right here. What? Man! How do you get up there? <sighs> That's the second time today that I've seen someone get up on a house that I think is unaccessible. Oh well. He's down. Another thing is that you can, as I mentioned before, you can find those.
you're gonna find tens of thousand bazookas around every corner, basically. And it really is unfortunate because it makes a tank's job a whole lot harder. Because now I can't go into the city out of fear of having some riflemen pick up a bazooka and shoot him. I killed him! Nice! Okay, we have a cap in D1, okay. Quick! Guy run! Come on. There we go. Okay, let's move over this way. The only capping townhouse, which is right here, so watch for those S mines. Ah oh, man. Ouch. Okay, well yeah. Try we get into another one with a Jeep. Or not. Come on. Let me change. Come on. Come on. Do I let me change? Maybe I... Okay, there we go. Let's see. We can... Nope. What about a hack check one? Sure. This may not end well. Oh, I did. Now we just have to hide here. Well, then I must have either stopped the C4 cap or captured it again. I didn't see. Now just wait. See if anyone else comes around. Yeah, then that's mine. Looks like. And 80%. Oh, somebody's coming around. Not anymore. He's down. Oh, he's coming around. Man, those MG42s. You no. Know, overpowered in the war? Yes. But, I mean, the Americans can't counter them at all. I mean, I'll bet you almost anything that those three to four top guys are using MG42s and while you do need to be mostly good at it in order to use it you know it's just that the Americans can't counter them at all and I think that's a real part that's sad is that the Americans Okay. How the heck did that happen? How the heck did that just happen? <laughs> Trying to evolve now. Man. Now sometimes, sometimes I do wonder if people aren't cheating in this game. I'm sure there are at least some people who are. But man, Trying to evolve. I don't get easily frustrated at games, but that's one of the times that I am going to. Because, I mean, I can't counter him at all. He can shoot through walls. Well, that. Yep. He can shoot through walls. Yeah, I can't even see him. That's. That's stretching the line right there. Man. Oh, hi there, buddy. Oh. Do I have a guy on my tail or something? Hope not. Oh. Yeah, I can't see much. Man, he 
is a gen. Okay. There's another one! Man! You know, with the MG42s and the Brownings, I'm fine with having them in the game after all, they are historical. But, I mean, at least have them locked. So that, I mean, that Arnold guy, he's not even. Man! Come on! Well, sorry that got a little loud right there. I mean, that Bruno guy, he is not... He's right now about rank 1, I believe. For the Germans. And he has an MG42. I mean, that's just sounding again insane. So, my suggestion, suggestion would be, you know, ha at least have it limited to something like tier 6 or tier 4. I can see why they have it in place for the Germans when uh, they don't get, when they don't get a true close quarters combat deal. Those MG 42s Man. I just don't get how you can have them in the game and not have some sort of rank restriction on them. I mean, we're stopping some sort of new guy from going, buying an MG 42 before he knows anything about the game, and then just killing everyone with it. I mean, there's nothing stopping that. <sighs> well, you can probably hear the frustration in my voice. Because those MG42s... <sighs> I've been reading the forums for this game every couple hours. They're not very really active, but there are some threads out there that are very active. One of them is debating the current 98K to the M1 Grand. Most people are saying that the current 98K is underpowered compared to the Grand. Now I tend to agree with it. It's not the uh, it's not in the sniping view uh, because the current 98 beats it. It's in the close quarters thing where the Germans don't get any type of rifle, at least currently, that can counter the American Grand in close quarters. And one of the suggestions is to make make the car a one-shot kill. Yay, he's down, finally. Wait, you know what? Let's throw that panther here. Sticky bombs. Yes. I do use that. I do use sticky bombs. Um but one of the suggestions is to make the Corona AK a one shot kill. Uh basically regardless of range. I'm just completely against that because the Americans won't be able to counter that at all. And that would it would ruin the game for every American player. Because of how excellent a long range shot it is. You know, you can hit eighty percent of your shots at over two hundred meters if you're good, so but um the other issue with buffing the current idea K is that the Germans get excellent uh, uh, late game gear. Well, not even late game. Make game gear. It's excellent. I mean, it just blows the Americans out of the water, as you see with that MG42 right there. And 
you know, buffing the 298K to a level with the Drayans is not the answer here. Unless you want to also make the drowning. Oh, come on, why'd I have to flip that? Oh, good, good. Unless you want to get the drowning at the same level as the MG42, and it was never at that level. The drowning was never at that level. The MG42 was by far. Oh, come on. Was by far one of the best, if not the best, weapons to come out of World War II. And I do think that, that should be shown here in the game. But I don't think it's the right way. So. Hello. And goodbye. Here. Go ahead and get another sticky. Just to be prepared. Jump down here. Oh, good. Didn't hit anything. Sometimes when you jump down, you hit a drowned. And... You don't kill yourself, but you se let's just say you severely damage yourself. So... Going back to the whole Crow vs. Grants thing, that was one of the things I wanted to talk about. The... Oh, come on buddy, run. The Crow is actually at long range, Grant is actually at short range. Uh, it can do mid to somewhat long range. The problem with the Crow though, is that... The majority of battles take place at 100 meters or less. Which is somewhere where the Drian flourishes, but where the Crow does not. And... So the Drian has that beat right there, and when you have... Complete newbies coming at the game. Uh, trying... Who's up there? Oh! Yeah, he is right there. Quick. Okay, dang jam. Nope. Okay, and I... Oh! Oh! The Bracken stand. You have to come down here now, buddy. So, uh, the green has that has the crow beat right there. But, you have to play to its advantage with the crow. Um, oh, come on. And, right now, I don't see people playing it to that advantage. I see people trying to do something with the crow that I shouldn't be doing. And then just getting killed, whining about it on the forums and saying how the grand is so overpowered, when it's just their own decisions that's making them lose, you know? And with the pistol, the pistol is nothing to laugh about that the Germans get. And if you get the first shot off, you can easily beat the Grand. So stop worrying about your pistol too. But... I... Right now, people are looking at it as two weapons. When... What you really have to look at is the whole broad spectrum of it. Because, well, as one guy said, I believe his name is Dondergrod. That rings a bell for anyone. He does some videos on YouTube as well about the game. But he said, every. No, let's see. Uh, it was something like America is overpowered, Germany is overpowered, America is underpowered and Germany is also underpowered. But, you know, it's just in the certain things. Oh, there's a Panzer III right there. And you have to look at the broad spectrum of things. Because the MG42, you have something that the Americans cannot beat at all. But at the same time, you know, at least the Car 98K can beat the Grand's over range. Um, but the Americans, the only way to really beat a MG-42 is to have a horrible player on it. 
that is the single single way to actually kill one. And I mean that's not that's not a way to kill something. So I'm not very opinionated about many things, but that was one of them. And right now I just stole a German half track. Quite enjoyed the German half track over the American version. It's just so much more maneuverable. For the same reason that I enjoy the Jeep over the Kubelwagen is its maneuverability factor. And when you don't have a gunner on top, like right now for me, you can easily run over people. So let's go ahead. Nope, not that time. Hey! Hey! Oh, not that time either. <laughs> but with the M3A1, it's not exactly the most maneuverable thing. Well, to be all honest, it feels like a pig. So. Dang, nope. So I dropped that S mine. I kill? I getting to the point now with the amount of kills. I don't know when I kill someone. <laughs> oh, really nice when you get to that point. Of course, my kill to death ratio isn't exactly high, but anyone? Nope. This way. Nope. Nope. Watch out here. Okay, let's make a run for it. Killed him. Now, in case you guys are wondering, you are seeing this video a couple days early, uh, because of what I already said with the going to Trusted Butte. Uh, so, you won't be seeing any videos uh, over the weekends as I'll be up, uh, up there so just letting all of you know that and now just for the capture how's the myth doing? not great oh okay that's just him with the MG Killed him. Nope. Well, the one thing that the, the Thompson has over the MG42 is faster reload. Much faster reload. I mean, with the MG42 you have a belt that you have to Killed him. Fantastic. You have a belt that you have to feed in every time, but with the Thompson, all that you really have to do is just reload a magazine, which is so much quicker than the MG42. But that shouldn't be the only thing that Mr. Thompson has over the MG42. Because the MG42 right now is also doing the job of Mr. Sniper. So, but you can tell where my stance is on it. Okay, that's just wondering if that was a German half track or an American. It's American. I need to go and help out that police station again. On the German half track is also far quicker. And more armored. And has a better gun. <laughs> so. When OC have a armored machine gun. And. Oh! Hello! Charge! Ah, uh, I missed it. Man, it's so fun when, uh. Just run over people with a German hat trick. I think I already told this story about. But about a week ago. 
Oh, stop shooting me, stop shooting me. Not gonna happen. About a week ago, I was playing around with my paratrooper. Found a German half track and took it to their base and just started driving around with it. <laughs> it was so much fun. Same with, like, uh, Kubo Warden. You know, it's not the most maneuverable thing in the world, but, uh, you capture one, and they don't know that you're driving one. Man, it is so much fun. It's just easy to start running over Germans left and right. Anyone here? Yeah. Okay, so perhaps the recoil isn't all that, uh, good. There we go. I do have on the skill, or badge, or whatever you want to call it, where it gives you more ammo than you regularly start off with. I believe it's called Hoarder, if that sounds right. Uh, so, that usually you will have only 120 rounds with the Hoarder that goes up to With the hoarder that goes up to, uh, um, 210? Yeah, that sounds right. So, one of the advantages, then you're much more self-reliant, and you don't always have to find those, uh, med packs to get more ammo. Which is something that I quite enjoy. I had that on my uh, German player too when I was doing the MG42 gunning. Had it on there so that uh, with the with the MGs you get 150 rounds, I believe. And you just blow through that like nothing. So that's why I had it on there. Ah, man. Well, at least it wasn't an MG that got me that time. Well, I'm going to have to wait again. I wonder how much time we have left. Yeah. I think... Where are we? Okay. Are you going? Okay. Well, 40 seconds left. We lose, I guess. Unless we can get to the police station very quickly. And I seriously doubt it. Anyone by there? We're coming up on there. And we will be able to win after all. Stop, buddy. Stop. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Oh, come on. Did I not kill him? Well, well that time I killed him. How come I didn't kill him before? Six seconds left. Yeah, I can't. I can't die. Because if I die, this is over. Must have at least one up on the roof. He says, "My guess." Oh man, Dracidi! No, man. Well, an interesting battle there. <laughs> Pretty good score, though. Lots of ribbons in that one, too. Nice. Hmm, wonder why I didn't get the headshot ribbon. Unless maybe I've gotten enough of those. Eight headshots. Should've gotten that one, but maybe it's bugged. But, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, there will be no videos, <laughs> as I keep on mentioning, through the weekend. Uh, the weekend
week after that though is going to be spring break for me. Uh, I am a student, so I do get those. Uh, so hopefully I can put out a good amount of videos, and I may be able to get some some sort of gold or uh, premium time uh, for either this game or uh, tanks. So hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.